We have one of the most generous welfare systems in the world, but some people take advantage of it, using taxpayer money on things like drugs and gambling. Is a cashless card the answer? To punish everyone for the crimes of a very few is it's ludicrous. We have real challenges here. If you're not willing to shine a spotlight on your problems, well, how can you expect to get help? We are still Australian citizens, and all we ask is to be equal, please. Tonight, we're in the Dole capital of Australia, where soon 6,000 welfare recipients will start to receive their payments on the cashless welfare card. It's the first urban area to be trialled, and it's a decision that's divided the community. But the government says something had to change. Life is stressful enough without having to consider a private company taking control of finances that I already handle perfectly fine myself. 32-year-old Jodie McNally has been on a disability stream of new start since hurting her back six years ago. Day-to-day -day tasks I find really difficult. There don't seem to be enough jobs for people with disabilities to get into. She now faces being on the cashless debit card as part of a new trial in the Wide Bay region of Queensland. Blacktown in Sydney and Mildura and Frankston in Victoria could be next due to the high numbers of people on welfare. It means 80% of welfare payments will go on an INJU, a private banking institution operated card, with the remaining 20% to go to a recipient's bank account. I currently rent um, privately and they don't allow for private rentals. You have to get their permission. It means Jody's landlord would have to hand over their details to INJU. People just don't want to hand their information over to a private company they shouldn't have to deal with. What's your biggest concern about the welfare card? A lack of access to cash. The new trial relates to anyone under the age of 35 who currently receives New Start, youth allowance or a single and partnered parenting payment. For Jody, she currently gets around $650 a fortnight. On the card, it would mean $520 would go on the cashless card, which can't be used for alcohol, drugs or gambling, and would leave her with $130 in cash. That's just $65 a week. I personally have never drunk alcohol, never taken non-prescription drugs, never gambled. I don't have kids. It's not going to help me. It's just going to cause more problems for me. And that's a sentiment shared by most on welfare, like mum of three, Petra. You know, with single people like myself, I'm going to be going on a card which I can budget my money. So for people like us, I think it's unfair. That is so hard. I couldn't live off what they live off. Terribly hard. So to make it even harder. It's been a controversial topic. Already trials are underway in South Australia and the goldfields of Western Australia. The idea that it'll curb recipients wasting their money without first paying for the essentials. Bundaberg and Harvey Bay will be the fourth trial site where local federal member Keith Pitt has been a vocal advocate. Well, one of the challenges we have locally, of course, is intergenerational welfare. So this is, you know, mums and dads, grandmas and grandpas, and their children and grandchildren uh, who have not worked, ever. One in five people in his electorate are on welfare. He says something had to change to break the cycle of welfare dependency. I've had reports from principals, from school teachers, that they do have students that tell them that they want to go on to New Start. I mean, that's just terrible. What would you say to those people who claim this card will make their lives harder? There'll be things that will be inconvenient. Right? There is no doubt about that. You only have to look at what our local media is reporting. You have four to five million dollars a month in Bundaberg and Harvey Bay on pokies alone. Do you think this might act as a driver for some people to get off welfare? I think the people who do want to get off welfare are already doing the best that they can to get off welfare. But for every anti-card advocate, there's supporters too. It's probably a good idea. It's funds that are managed, so yeah, probably better off than just um, spending it on useless, worthless stuff, I guess. It's divided up so that you have to have your essentials first and the extras afterwards. So. That's what we all do, don't we? I think it's a great idea. They don't pay their rent first. You know, it doesn't seem to be a priority. 
The opposition, though, has slammed the cashless card as a waste of money. At a town meeting with Bill Shorten, locals were angry. I think it's a disgusting thing to do to people. Being branded as drug addicts or dull bludgers when they haven't even had a chance. It's, it's not the right, it's just the wrong thing to do. I think it's disgraceful. How dare you discriminate against people because they're poor? It's a disgrace. With Bill Shorten making this promise. If uh, Labor is to get elected, will you scrap the cashless debit card? We can't stop the rollout, but we did vote against it. I can't uh, unscramble the egg of what this government does, but what we can do, if elected, is we will do what we can to roll it back. But for now, the government is still planning their next move. The government has said there will be a fifth trial site with additional participants, uh, but it could be anywhere across the country. Uh, and I think this is what trials are about, to see if your policy works, if it makes real change. Go on it themselves with the same amount that people on Newstart will have to live on and see if they can do it themselves. Now, we've been running a Facebook poll to see if you think the new cashless welfare card is fair. 57% of you say it is, and 43% disagree. The poll's still open. If you'd like to have your say, just head to our Facebook page.